Mark Frost, as read by Peter Dom. I just thought it would be audacious to bring a show back after all that time. Pick up the story however many years later, not try to recreate it or remake it, and continue with a different chapter. Mark Frost, as read by Laura Stewart. I don't see life as random, I see it as purposeful. I believe the ultimate purpose of life for us in our current stage of development may be unknowable, but I believe, and I have a certain amount of faith, that this is the journey we are on toward finding peace with yourself, making peace with the world around you, and learning to respect and be kind to all forms of life that are here with us. Mark Frost, as read by Courtney Stallings. At a Hollywood A-list party, and I'm having a conversation with John Schlesinger and Warren Beatty. I look behind Beatty and I see Trump come into the room. I know who he is, this buffoonish New York plutocrat, and I watch him survey the room like a shark looking for a meal. His eyes fall on Beatty, and he makes a beeline over and horns in on the conversation. To his eternal credit, Beatty just shakes his hand and says, you know, I'm talking to John here. Mark Frost, as read by Josh Minton. I love David Milch. I consider him a friend, and he was fun to be around but he was also tragically self-destructive and could be a real handful. Mark Frost, as read by Scott Ryan. I always think of the great last line from Chinatown, and Bob Town knows the insanity of the business better than anybody alive. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Might as well have been his metaphor for Hollywood. These are just a few of the amazing topics in conversations with Mark Frost, Order the book at FayettevilleMafiaPress.com.